Man, this is lifestyles of the poor and unfucking fortunate. But I tell you what, but 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 bitch, we got views. Man, my girl's there. I got a fucking mad dash cleaning. I'm gonna chill, bro. Yeah. The house can't look lived in. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm like. That's what I tell everybody. My house is lived in. Like I, like I enjoy doing the like how I normally rap, where it's like flipping syllables and just you yeah. know rhyming off each different other word and all that intricate shit. But I really fucking enjoy just not not overcomplicating music too, yep. and just like. Make a catchy hook and make some simple verses, but they still have like an impact. They're still compassionate towards how I feel or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's you. You always been able to do that. You know, what I mean, like whenever you Step. were doing. Get the fuck down. Smooth. I'm gonna lock you in the bathroom, dude. Put you outside. Um, yeah, he's all. He was all. He's always been on that time. I mean, like like I've said in the interviews, we didn't know. We didn't really ever listen to rap music when we were in the car. He yeah. always was wanting to listen. This was back 2007, Co- eight, country nine. music. All yeah, the country like eight, like. Like James Taylor, all the people that he still talks about, he listened to them back then. It wasn't, he he never really listened to his own shit, like in the cars. Yeah. When we would record stuff, he never would he never would listen to that either. Yeah. He was just always wanting to listen to stuff besides rap. Well, yeah. Um, like, I grew up at my granny's house, and so she was a big country fan. And anytime in the car, anytime we're in the car, she's singing her heart out to mm-hmm. every song on the fucking radio. So yeah. I had just instilled old 90s country music in my head, probably the best era of country music. Oh, that's my favorite. I, that, <laughs> that's what I used to, I still listen to that stuff now. And I then, still have playlists of that stuff. Yeah. And then my uncles, they all lived at my granny's house, her sons. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's how family hierarchy works. There's her sons. <laughs> <laughs> uh, outlaw just fucking yeah. ribbon running type dude so they're playing the southern rock the so that's just what, a lot of what I grew up listening to between southern rock and country and all that and then like at my age the internet was becoming the thing kinda you know it was like you could f- jump on sound click you know what I'm saying yeah. and just you're like holy shit this is a gold mine of instrumentals yeah but you couldn't find no like all you could find was rap instrumentals you couldn't find the shit that we're hearing today where people no, are meshing country no. and southern rock with hip hop and so I found those instrumentals and that was like how I expressed myself and that's just kind of the thing I took to yeah. but now that it's so abundant that you can get mashups like that that's just powerful dude yeah. like if you you get the right i mean yeah dude anything with some electric guitar in it and it's played right like i don't know notes and all that but i can tell you what sounds great you yeah, know right, what i'm saying right, so, yeah, yeah for sure like i hear some shit i'm like dude this is powerful like i don't even there shouldn't even be words over some of these beats it's just like this shit's it's great like yeah yeah you know what i'm saying i'm not gonna jump out the whip head first into yeah. the backwoods living. You're not going to see me at the redneck rave, basically. Yeah. You know, I would love to go, though, but... Yeah. But, like... I'm not going to headline a show next week. No, no, you know, like... But yeah. I, I'm not hating on that genre or nothing. I'm just saying, like, I don't see myself ever just, like, trying to do that. Right. But I also take inspiration from the people that do do it because yeah. they probably grew up listening to the same shit I did, you know? So. Right. For sure. I it's mean, all just expression. So. Especially where we live at, man. I mean, it's, it's kind of just goes hand in hand. You know, in Nashville, you're going to, whether you want it to or not, you're going to be exposed to country music or rock music or something like that, you know. Yeah. Just from going out in public, you're going to, yeah. it's playing everywhere. 
I don't understand people that hate on country music, dude. I'm like, dude, this shit's like... Like, yeah, your honky-tonk, good time songs, whatever, those are great. Those are club songs, whatever, bar songs. But, like, some of these country artists do. Some of their songs are like, you sit down and really listen to what you're saying. Like, that's deep emotional shit. Like, I mean, it's no different than a rapper making a deep song. It's just a lot... The tempo's a lot slower. Yeah. Like, some people just hate country. They're like, oh, that makes my ears bleed. Yeah, no, which, I mean, to each their own, I guess, but I don't have any kind of music that I feel that, I don't know, that that passionately about to where I'm just, I hate it. Island boy. You heard that shit? That shit's hot 100 right now, buddy. Trying to make it. Yeah, I still, I've listened to all these podcasts that's like tried to break it down and make fun of it. And I've listened to it and I don't know what they're saying, bro. And I like to think I can listen I can understand mumble rap yeah. or mumble singing or whatever, but I don't think they, I don't think they were. I mean, they were just freestyling something in their pool, yeah. and it became staring at the sun. <laughs> and, they're, and they're like twins. I mean, it's just the same person once upon, yeah, which is what twins are. It's but fucking Kodak White. <laughs> it is, dude. It is that like Kodiak? Yeah, I think so. His name's probably Cody. Yeah. He's I'm gonna go with Kodiak. Red yeah. is what it says. His name is. They're fucking hilarious, dude. I yeah, just, now they're doing like, they're already doing um, cameos. Are they? Yeah, which That's you're supposed cool. to do like at the end of your career. Or not not the end, but like doing cameos right out the gate is pretty, I mean, that's pretty dope. They can do that already. Yeah. People are spending like 150 bucks to have them, I don't know what they're having them do, but I guess just give them shout outs for their birthday and shit. Yeah, I would, I'd probably have them sing me happy birthday. I'm trying to hire the I'm a snake dude to like on a cameo, honestly. That's like my idol, dude. Dude with the mask on his head? Yeah, the I'm a snake. You can get him on there for like 175 bucks, dude. Damn, dude. I'm for it. Yeah. That was such an epic YouTube video. Dude, he's, dude. A, he's a fucking creep, dude. <laughs> he definitely was. <laughs> Without a doubt. That shit is so funny, dude. I'll be out with my daughter and I'll just scream it. I'm a snake. Her face just turns red as that fucking cup. She's just like, oh my God. It's hilarious. Yeah, man. There's a... As far as back, going back to the, the, the country, like, influence, I don't... Now it's become cliche because now it's so popular people are doing country and rap and they're fusing it and then they're then you got the people that are just completely just big trucks big trucks like like you're doing you're gonna have that side of it then you're gonna have the true country people country rap people but I don't think there's anything wrong with incorporating that in your music if it's something that you like to do I just think there's certain lines that you can draw I guess where you can tell that it's just being a money grab you know yeah, I mean? it's just being fabricated for yeah. entertainment value. Instead of instead of it just being something that's like feeling, it kind of feels like an organic like mesh up. Yeah. But I guess you have that with anything though, regardless of what's popular. You know, when I when Auto Tune first came out, you remember how many people was? I mean, that's still being used now. But when T Pain and Wayne and all them started doing that back in the what late two thousand, probably before two thousand ten and all that. Yeah. And everybody and their mom was doing auto tunes. People didn't know how to use it right, and it was. I still don't know how to use it right. I don't either. <laughs> like I'll be out there trying to ooh and ah some shit when I'm in the house alone. Yeah. Because I can't do that in front of nobody. It's embarrassing. You yeah. Know? But listen back and auto tune. I'm like, dude, auto tune can't even save this. What the fuck? Yeah, it's it's. I don't know, and but I guess it's one of those. I mean, it's just everybody's got their own. What they like, what they don't like, I guess. I'm just all for people doing what they want to do as long as it's for the right reasons and it's not just a... People that just do it just for a come up or something, that's a completely different thing to me. I, I can't really rock with that. But. Yeah. I think at like some point, like you get... Like for the people that do it as like a... <coughs> I guess with any genre of music, if... You know, someone's just doing it for the cloud, or that's a hot market right now. And yeah. eventually, they're going to get exposed their own selves. Dude, there's not, especially if like you get out on tour or you start really blowing up. Dude, yeah. people, fans will like 
br- dig up everything about you. Yeah. Like, yeah. like there's some real Twitter warriors out there, bro, that will hunt you down yeah. digitally and know everything more th- about you than you know. Yeah. And it all it all come out. Like I mean. Yeah. Yeah, I mean we. You can fake it till you make it for so long. There's so many people out there that are trying to because they see how successful. The true like. Nashville artists have really been have been doing like the struggles and the jellies and the churches and and people like that and then they it, you just kind of see like that I don't know you just see people I get trying to emulate it but when you take it to I don't know there's just a there's a fine line with me with that like you can I can I like to think I can tell that when I'm watching something if it's if it's legit or if it's just somebody <coughs> trying to do something because they know it's popular so yeah. they're just like I'll just try to do it you know yeah. That's why I, for the longest I never wanted to do any country rap songs, just because even though I'm from the country and I talk country, I'm not a country dude. So it's like people wanted me to do country rap for years, and I'm like, ah. yeah. You just ain't really. I just feel right doing it because it ain't. I don't know enough about it. I mean, I can write some shit, but it don't make. If it's not really who I am, I just don't like to. I'm oh, sorry. They ain't, ain't in the camera. Oh, he's like. I thought he was about to tip it over, dude. I, I'm not trying to buy an iPhone 13 today. Oh, you good? I got insurance. <laughs> Still tipping on four fives, baby. <laughs> she said, "Go up here with your mama, man. You won't be up here all day long until I'm down here doing something. Just nosy. Got your butt all on the microphone. She done, she done spun it around. Or he? He's a he. Ain't he? Yeah. Kinda." Stubby legs. Kind of gender mutilated him. Oh, yeah. You know, he ain't got no you balls. You in your eyes too, boss. So. It's just a phone case. It's just a phone case. You don't need it. Got to gotta be politically correct these days. Oh, yeah. Okay. Talk about things. Dude, when I was in... Somebody, somebody asked me my pronouns the other day, and I was like, he, him, fat. <laughs> and it was just funny, but they got mad at me. I'm like, dude, my God damn. For my pronouns. Yeah, what? like, we were at, my uh, body, my choice, motherfucker. Like, I'm what? fat. We were at um, oh, Bath, Bath and Body Works. Yeah, we were at Bath and Body Works, yeah. Oh, I was walking away, and he said, hey, did you see her name tag? I don't make eye contact with people because I don't really yeah. care. And what did the name tag say? Oh, it said her name was... Dana. Dana. And it said, she, they... And he said, How? And I was like, what is that? I don't understand. I'm just trying to understand what that means. Like, I, I'm trying to understand what that means. I would love for someone to break it down to me, too. Because it's Cause like, I have you, no idea how to. Somebody that knew Dana. Like, if, if, if me and Dana and and my lady were going to get a cup of coffee, then we said, uh, well, me, Mel, and they went to get a cup of coffee? Or me, Mel, like, what is, I don't understand what that means. So, like, is she two people? I don't ever, I don't get it. Bro. Right. <laughs> and I didn't, I didn't even ask her. He just threw me off because everybody else's name tag just said their name on it. Yeah. But the, I'm like, she's a good one. Yeah, I, I have trying to, to get the little, thing, the little plug in thing for the wall. That's all we was trying to do. <laughs> I have to get like really good about it for the new career field I'm stepping into because it's just a lot of like progressive. Yeah. And, you know, people can be whatever they want to be, bro. Cool. But like, don't get mad at me if I accidentally call you something you're not. Like, yeah, you know, it's almost like they set a booby trap for you. Yeah, because they're like, this, 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 and then you ask, they they confuse people, and then when you, just because you're not aware of the situation, then they call you, they say you're, you know, you're a bigot or whatever. I just don't get it, bro. That's why. That's why. Did you, you want? Did you see the new Chappelle? Yeah. What'd you think about that? I think everyone is pissed. Uh, I think they're just taking like the entire show was one big story about yes. like how this group of people is how how do I explain it without like getting absolutely destroyed in the comments later? <laughs> you know, <laughs> well, you should be all right. Uh, <laughs> So like, so you got the people who want to be what they want to be, right? And then you got Chappelle's people, right? You know, and so the way I took it was he just made this entire dialogue about 
I'm going to talk solely about these people and how they all they all these people want is to be treated fairly and you know treated equal whatever yeah. great but they won't like I don't know how to put the words, man. I get what he was trying to do. No, he was trying sure. to say, hey, why can't we be treated just as equally? Yeah, for sure. And you're mad at me for jokes. Yeah. And, like, it's, the, it, I don't know. I don't want to say the wrong thing. <laughs> so. No, you're great. That, I, was watching, uh, I was watching one of the podcasts that somebody was talking about, and Chappelle issued a statement about he would meet with those people yeah. and wanted to meet with them, but he would only meet with them if... They had seen all of his his last special. They saw they watched the entire special, and some other thing. And he said he would meet with them on the condition that they said that Hannah Gatsby is not funny, because you know that's the one that's the comedian that's like super going against Chappelle, and she's like her. I don't even know if it's a she. Their whole thing is like anti comedy. Is the whole and. That's who is going at him the most. It kind of riled all that stuff up. Yeah. But I thought the special was 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 really good. I I hate that he's having to keep harping on this, but I get why he's doing it because it keeps coming up. Yeah. You know, this is like his third one that he's kind of dealt with. <coughs> yeah. But like what he was saying, he was like, "You can't cancel me when I walked away from fifty million dollars fifteen years ago." Like, I, yeah. I clearly am not the one that you can. And he said, you know, people talk about me on Twitter, and I tell them Twitter's not a real place. That's right. Yeah. And that's the realest shit ever because so many people look at social media and then they're like, they li- they just live and die by everything that social media says. When nine times out of ten, the people that are tripping about something on social media, it's not a thing in real life. Like you, right. when you go out, it's not an issue. Right. You know what I mean? It, I mean that's that even falls in the line with all the conspiracy. There's weird yeah, out sure. here too, dude. God yeah. bless America. It's been wild these last few years, dude. The QAnon and all that stuff. Dude, oh my, my barber had to change the name of his barber shop because of these Q weirdos and shit. Dude. What was like, the name of his barber shop? Uh, Crispy Clean Q had a QAnon member walk in his barber shop asking him, "Was this a fucking headquarters for QAnon and shit?" Shit, you not, dude. Dude had to do changed his name and everything. Now it's Pyramid Grooming Company. Like I'm like, well, now you're asking for some like Freemason shit now. But. <laughs> <laughs> now you're now you're, now you're, now you're trolling. <laughs> but like, but like, yeah, dude. Like, do you see like people get so riled up on social media? And I'm like, I guarantee you, there is not one daily conversation they have that even covers any of this. No, man. It's just all because of. But, like, they'll get on social media and they're, like, the biggest advocate for something. And I'm like, dude, you only speak about it on here. Yeah. This isn't a protest board. Like, this isn't, like, nothing you say on here is going to change anything. The entire world is on here. And you're, like, a little speck of an algorithm that gets seen. Like, you're not important by yourself. Like, you need to be out in the street with a sign. Yeah. Marching for that shit or something. I don't know. That's, I just, not, that's I just, how it goes, man. Like, like, but it's just crazy to me that it's gotten to the point where it's so bad where comedians are getting prosecuted so on social media. Canceled. Or and canceled <laughs> and all that just for telling jokes, man. Yeah. Like, and it's all just like comedians have the free speech to do that. The people that are tripping have the free speech to do that. So it's like you're saying they can't do this, but you know what I mean? So exactly. it's like, that's what I don't get. Exactly. That's <laughs> it's 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 that's like a two sided sword, dude. Like I've I've gotten to the point where like I want to argue with people these facts, but I just I'm so exhausted from doing it. Like yeah. in the past, I'm like, I just, I don't even care, dude. Right. That's <laughs> just leave it alone. Like I'm just like, think what you want to think, bro. Like you sound like a fool, but I'm just you got you got the right to do that, bro. You live in a country that allows you to do that. So Yeah. You do you boo. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, you do you, bro. No, it's for sure. Good. You said you're working on new stuff? Yeah, uh, trying to, man. I kind of got a lot on the old plate ski. I was supposed to be finishing up an album with Yayo. Yeah. 
and I mean we have a bunch of songs done and written and then I was working on like a little seven song album with JIT mm-hmm. and then he got viciously attacked by his neighbor's dog so yeah that's crazy you told me that yesterday that's wild I meant to send you a photo after we talked of his hand he's he a couple hours after we talked yesterday he has to go and get surgery now God. like he had to get taken back to the hospital and get surgery so yeah he was telling us that um his buddy Jit shout out to Jit Benjamin he um I guess his neighbors had a crazy dog right Man. And they, they well it, it got Lyme disease and then it just got weird so and they said that he broke the, they made a built a fence because he kept getting out he dug out of the fence yeah. And he said he attacked his buddy, and when he came to attack him, he was coming for this area, and he put that his hand in the way, and he said he bit him when he had yeah. the dog has Lyme disease. Yeah, it's fucking. They said that he had like this huge abscess under his like tendons. Dude, his hand is like. <laughs> and he said he's like, he's like a skinnier guy, but he said his hand was bigger than like more small. Yeah, like dude, yeah. his shit's like it's like a knot this big on a little hand. Yeah. So, it's yeah. crazy, dude. Hopefully he's all right. What kind of dog was it, Pitt? I'm not sure, honestly. I, I I don't think he ever told me what kind of dog it was, but, I mean, it would be, I mean, like, sorry, no offense, but it'd be a dead one if it fucking put me through that. I don't know so. for sure. I, I love dogs, bro. I love I animals. That kind of stuff right there, man. You got to. And Jit's got a lot of kids, bro. He's got, between him and his wife, dude, they got like fucking 900 kids, so. Yeah. That's putting him at risk, too. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't even know what would happen to a child if they got bit and a dog had Lyme disease. Oh, like, is their body been, even been, probably. strong enough to fight something like that? I don't know. Yeah. But, yeah, he, uh, he said he was getting surgery, so that put a, put a halt on what we were doing. We, uh, we got a couple tracks produced by Yayo on there and some other people Jit knew. From Indiana, I believe, mm-hmm. and then I think we're gonna feature BB Swing on it. He sent us a dope track for it. Yeah, um, he's I got a, a hook from him. So, he's yeah. a dope artist, he's dude. Dope, like, yeah. I got a hook from him uh, called Crash Course that I, it's got a that I'm supposed to be finishing up with Fathead, but it's yeah, yeah he's dope, bro. He was on my last time. He's on the disco joint. He did yeah. a hook for the disco joint. Yeah, he sent me uh, some called Tatted on My Brain. It's pretty dope. Yeah, he's good. He's good, man. That's all you and Lazy got's really, really dope too, dude. The greatness. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, that's a good one, man. Dude, I got one. I'm, I'm so bad about not finishing songs, man, and moving on to the next one. You're like that meme where it's like, dude's got the backpack. Backpack and full of raps. He's yeah, just and it like, says unfinished yeah. songs, and it's you, and it's just, just you mugging his box. Yeah. I got another song with Lazy, dude, that crazy hook. You, I think you've heard it that something just ain't right I think I've sent it to you before. I think so yeah I ain't even got the first verse wrote for it and I got that shit almost two years ago so yeah I'm just terrible dude. I've got a hook that he, that he did for me shout out to Big Lazy man I got a hook from him that I need to uh, it's called Keeps Calling Me and I just need to finish it Dub 3030 did the beat yeah uh, I just need to finish it and get the hook mixed but it's it's a good one too yeah Shit, you went on a crazy tear putting out albums for a minute there, man. Yeah, and then with like with the last one that I put out, with American Dream, right when I put it out, is right around as the same that week is when we linked back up with Worm and started doing the Chat Arms TV stuff again. So I started focusing heavily on just doing that. Yeah. And the album was out, but I didn't really push it or anything other than the Twisted T. We did the video for Twisted T, but it it was mainly just a big collection of songs that I had done over the last couple of years and features that I had done over the last three or four years that never came out. And I wanted to kind of put them all out to where I could start fresh with the next project, you know what I mean? Which is kind of where I'm at now. Um, the Dedicated is one we'll call the new one. It'll probably only be like 10 songs. Though. I think that's the... Me and Leroy dropping um, Bad Habits with it being seven songs. I like that little seven to 12 song window. Yeah. Because like Lex, shout out to Lex. Like like Lex has always told me, he's like, bro, you can get the same amount of traction from a seven song album than you can from a twenty song album. Mm-hmm. He said, and actually, it's going to do you better because they're not going to forget 
10 songs on the 20 song album, even no matter how dope they are. Just like with Drake and Kanye's album, bro. I mean, as good of artists as they are, there was too many songs on both of those projects for me. To, like, yeah. I just, it's just too much material to try to sit and remember or listen to. Like now, yeah. used to, mixtapes had 20, 25 songs on them back in the day, but that was before social media. Yeah. Now everybody's, including mine, yeah. and I'm aware of it. Like, my attention span now, if I see a 20 song album, I'm like, if it's my favorite artist, I'm like, we should have made it a 10 song album. Yeah. And split it up, yeah. you know. So that's kind of like my thoughts, or just singles, you know, that's always good too. But I've always been big on full projects, though. I like to have, you know, a full seven to 10 song run I like to have for the new one. Yeah, my, I mean, my attention span's gotten way shorter too. Yeah. But, I, social media is just like f- fucked everything up. Dude. It really has. <laughs> now we finna go into the metaverse, bro. I'm for it. You What's heard? That? Oh. You ain't heard of that? Oh god. Fa- okay. Facebook is is changing its name to Meta. So like he's rebranding his entire company. Whatever. It's now gonna be known as Meta. Uh huh. And so for the last few years, there's been like talks of these metaverses and like these. It's virtual reality, but virtual VR is more like games and stuff, I yeah. guess. And I'm I'm probably butchering explanations of this, so like if anybody that's more knowledgeable about it, don't like fucking shun me for it. But uh-huh. um, so his idea with the metaverse is like because Facebook owns Oculus and all that, which is yeah. VR headset company, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Um, he's trying to make it where So it's going to be called Meta now, but it's going to be like the hub for the Metaverse. And eventually, did you watch the movie Free Guy? No, we we didn't get a chance to see that. Picture that. That's the Metaverse. Yeah. Shopping, hang out with friends, play games, all in just this one giant hub. And like, dude has an unlimited amount of money. There's no telling what he can create with this. Right. Like, it, it's going to get to a point where people don't even have to leave their house anymore, bro. It's like, oh, I want to hang out with Chad. Yeah. Boop, throw my headset on, and now we're in Tahiti, some motherfucking wear. Chilling, oh, you know, know what I'm saying? Shopping at, you know, buying bottles of rose. shopping and shit. at Big and Tall Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> you were going big, to big ass palm tree yeah. button ups. And shit. <laughs> Getting mixed drinks, dude, with yeah. headsets on. Oh uh, yeah, bring the cat with you. <laughs> <laughs> and like they're developing, like um, they've been able to create a thin robot skin for like sensory stuff, right? Right. So like, imagine after years of them fine tuning this technology, and you're in these metaverse worlds and VR worlds, yeah. and they have. V, uh, VR gloves you can wear so you know you, you're, when you're holding like the VR stuff it's just a handle like this with a trigger so when you yeah. squeeze the back it closes these fingers Right. and then you got a button for these fingers so they created this skin and then eventually they'll have like fingertips you can wear when you're going into like the VR stuff mm-hmm. and so when you move your actual fingers kind of like animation how they do for video games and stuff yeah. they got the body suits or whatever yeah but this will just be like gloves and so i mean that's already a thing but they're making it now where that's that robot skin when i if i grab this cup if this cup was in the metaverse and it feels cold and i feel the ice in it yeah i'll be able to feel that through this like vr shit dude that's insane and like that's the goal of it right yeah. and like just imagine what that's going to do to people, bro. And you got Elon Musk trying to upload people to computers. Like, I want to be the first one to do that, bro. Put me in that motherfucker, dude. Put me in the game, coach. Dude, I'm about to put a virus on somebody. Like, I'm about to <laughs> fuck something up, dude. <laughs> that's crazy, man. I, I saw somebody talking about how corn, how weird and, and cringe the Zuckerberg commercial was for that stuff. Oh, yeah, but I just thought it, it, he talks like a robot. I don't think yeah. he's a human. <laughs> you know, I, I think he, I mean, watching him talk with, with people, he talks like a robot, like yeah. a robot. 
but I thought it was just I didn't know it was that I thought it was just a he was just doing another version of the of the Oculus I just thought it was something like that no that's like like the, the, in the in the commercial like dude had it where like he met up with all his friends and they were looking at NFTs together yeah, and yeah, like yeah, yeah. He hit something here, and it pulled up a video chat where he could chat with his buddy and stuff, and like push of a button transferred to another world, and like they're gonna start, dude, they're gonna start giving those away to people that get the vaccination. Yeah, they're gonna start giving them those. Uh, yeah, you gotta be. If you're not vaccinated, you gotta shop in the metaverse. You know what I'm saying? Oh, God. Ain't gonna be people lined up outside of Walmart with VR helmets on and shit. Little shopping cart on a treadmill. Yeah. Just doing like that. You're gonna have the people, yeah, the people in the motorized carts with the VR headsets on, just running into stuff <laughs> with their fucking moo moos on. Well, that's crazy, dude. That is wild. I want to know. I want to figure out that NFT stuff. Like, that's what Squints had brought up on the it's... podcast one day, and I was, I'm just lost. And he's got a buddy that he works with, that works for him, the Logan Sport guy, that's a really good singer. That's that's real into the NFTs so he's going to have him talk about them at some point on the podcast yeah. but he like was I, trying to break it down to me with the Tory Lanez thing with what he did with his little album that was like an NFT or something yeah and it was just hard for me to comprehend what it, what it exactly was but it's definitely the new wave you want that coconut water I forgot I oh, got yeah. it for you yeah. I got smart water oh no, that's fine yeah. she's, she's the appreciate that I mean, on the counter. Gotta, gotta have your smart water. Yeah. But, like, I don't know, dude. Yeah, I got a buddy, uh, Ryan Merkett, that yeah. is, like, a genius with this shit. Like, he helped start Facebook and Reddit. I, and, like, I'm pretty sure he helped start Reddit. I know he was one of the first people that helped, like, code Facebook and stuff. But... Yeah. Um, he's worked for Reddit. He's worked for Amazon as like an angel investor. Like, dude's just brilliant when it comes to like companies and just he's starting his own like ETF or ETF uh, NFT company. Yeah. So I'm excited to see what he does with that. And stubs. <laughs> Look how he walks. Look how he's walking. <laughs> I need to get a cat like that. You know, dude. Bang on. Get you a little munchkin. Is that munchkin. how he walks? He's, it's like he's dragging his... <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. Oh, oh he was, he's needing to scratch. That's what he was scratching on uh, the movie. I popped him on his ass. He got out of here. No, I, that's probably what he is. He's probably like in shock. He's like, what just happened? <laughs> Hit him, where, hit him where his balls used to be and he was like oh shit they're gone I didn't even know <laughs> why <laughs> it's empty mm-hmm. yeah so, this format's dope bro cause this is almost kind of like just podcast format yeah which is the first time I've done this That that's dope though that may be a new just another kind of like more. it's more free form speaking it's, and it's not interviewee you know what I mean? It doesn't feel like, just to, well, what do you, you know, it doesn't feel yeah, like that. It, it yeah. feels more just like conversation. That's what's cool, I think, about it. Yeah. Um, That's wild, though, bro. Damn, that shit, I mean, obviously, you start doing the VR stuff. I've never messed with any of that stuff. I mean, I'm, I'm aware of it, and I can tell that it would be something cool, but, like, yeah. anytime I used to do 3D or anything like that, it always made my head hurt really bad so I always stayed away from it but even when you used to go to those movies they called them four dimensional where if something was wet on the movie you'd see that it'd feel like the spray or whatever which is what kind of reminded me of what you were talking about with if something's cold to the touch that's going to be wild bro because people are not going to be able to you're going to have people that aren't going to know the difference between metaverse and real life though. that's already happening yeah I mean it already feels like I've told her this and I sound weird probably but I know that sometimes, bro, like, I feel like ever since vid, I feel like we shifted into another, like, we're just in some other kind of thing. He feels like it's the Truman Show. 
It feels like it, dude. Sometimes it does. What is vid? What you... Rona. Ever oh. since when Rona happened, I you feel like the you world. Can't say oh, it, you can't that's say it. Okay. Yeah. Ever since the it shift, it's like it shifted into an alternate. Yeah. I don't know, bro. Because anybody I talked to about 2020, nobody can tell me nothing. Yeah. Like I don't remember, sh- and I we did some shit in 2020, but I don't remember. I mean, we. It's just weird, bro. It's just weird. I think it's just because. I mean, 2020 was like. A big, it sucked for us, but it was like a blessing too, man. No, for sure. It it pushed my fiance to leave. Well, they didn't leave. They got went bankrupt. But, you know, yeah, everybody went broke. But it pushed her to get out of the out of a career that she wasn't really happy in anymore. Yeah. Go to school, and now she's. Killing the game, bro. Making fucking... She's going to be making like six figures in April, bro. And ain't even been working there a year. Like, yeah. that's life-changing money. No, for sure. Just for man. taking the risk to learn she, something new. It's so, what she wants to do. It's like... Yeah. 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 And I was like, shit, I like, I like six figures. So. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I went to school for the same shit. Yeah. So, and I graduated. So now I got my little certificate on the wall over there. While bro, when you, when you shared that one thing that I don't even know, I couldn't even tell what I was looking at, bro. Like I'm like that was like genius level stuff. Whatever did you use to figure out? Yeah. You posted something on your. It was on just your, a bunch of colored words and yeah, stuff. Yeah, it was something like that, and you were like I was coding. Yeah, it was yeah, okay. That's why I didn't know what it was. <laughs> but that, that there's and that's obviously something that's gonna. Always be a thing. Oh, yeah. Because everything's computer driven. Yeah. I, mean, you know, I want to be, if I live long enough to see, like, robots in control, Yeah. they going to need me, bro, because I know how to tell the computer what to do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. So I'm just I'm just trying to get on the right side of history. <laughs> you know what I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to get in there, you know, when yeah. shit goes south, and you know all the they just want all the smart people to continue populating the earth. Yeah, I, I ain't that smart, but I can, you know, what I'm saying I got some cert, cert, cert certificates and stuff that would say otherwise. Right. You know, I'm I, I made it a little bit. Yeah. So, <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, slide on that certificate and maybe like a thousand bucks. Like, man, just let me go and get on that little ship with y'all. You know what I'm saying? What's, what creeps me out is when you see videos of like the robots that are like the robot dogs they have in New York. Yeah. And like or just the robots in general that are like security. Mm-hmm. And watching them do the stuff that they do, I'm like, bro, that's like, the ter- that's like Terminator. That's like legit, like. I don't know, bro. It's like a Domino's commercial where that little robot like pulls up and delivers your pizza. Yeah. I told him when we seen the commercial, I said, I want to order Domino's. I'm not doing it. Yeah. 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 I seen, uh, they had a Domino's car where like nobody drove it and then like the back was an oven to keep your like food warm and it was nuts, dude. And just like in the fast food places now, I mean, the majority of them. There's some places I know in the UK and stuff where it's there's no human beings in there. Yeah. I mean, I guess there's probably somebody having to make it, but like you don't interact with anybody. There's nobody taking your order. It's all done on the computer. Which they do that now. You go on and push the thing, and so it's it's well, getting to that point. You check yourself out at Walmart. You don't even have yeah, to go to an I'm still hurt. Bill so Burr right. said this. This is it's the most gangster thing for Walmart to say. Come in our store. Buy whatever it is you want. We're not going to fucking be in the store to help you if you have any questions. When you get done buying your shit, you're going to take your shit to the shit and you're going to ring it up yourself, bag it yourself, and get the fuck out of our store. <laughs> That's what Bill Burr said. I was like, this is so true. Because yeah. they're like, we don't, if you need help, you're shit out of luck. There's nobody that knows anything about any department. Yeah. We, we saw an old man in some overalls going And you better have that time. motherfucking receipt ready at the door, bucko. Because we checking that yeah. shit. <laughs> it's just crazy, man. But, I mean, Walmart was way ahead of the game on that. Now everybody's got the self-checkout. You go to Dollar General and there's self-checkout now. So it's like, it's just kind of where everything's going. Bravo just sent me a heart reply to a message I sent him the other Oh, yeah. <laughs> I told him to let me on it if he does it. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's just, wow, that goes back to the... goes back to the reaching for... Plow and stuff, man. 
Just start a crypto called a clout token. Clout token, that's definitely. How many clout tokens you got, bro? Oh, that would be hilarious. What's your, what's your portfolio like? Yeah. You know? <laughs> what's your clout folio? <laughs> yeah, that's wild, dude. Clout platforms and shit. Upload it to the clout. <laughs> Upload it to the cloud, dude. Oh, uh, hell yeah. Fucking. Uh, man, I'm, I'm hoping I can find, like, some dope artists out in Denver to, like, link up with, dude. But I'm, I'm not going to lie, man. And it might get me, like, hated before I even get there. But I can't find no good fucking Denver rap on yeah, YouTube. I've. I cannot. Thinking about thinking back on it, I haven't ever really heard of any like, and I like to think I'm kind of in tune with like new new like new yeah. artists, and I try to be relevant, stay relevant just because of what we do what we do here. I try to even if it's not something that may not be my bag all the way, I still want to at least know about it. Yeah. And I haven't really heard of any artists from Denver. Yeah. Now, I mean, like the people out there, the listeners, you know, they you got people from here go out there and perform. I think Jelly is going out there soon. Or he, he just went. He just went. Yeah, went to the cookie store out there. Yeah. And, and then, um, so they appreciate music like we do. Yeah. But like when you look up like specific Denver artists, dude, I can't find anything from this year or it's like super low budget or it's yeah. like super Mozzie sounding. Yeah, yeah. And Mozzie's dope. Oh, yeah, Mozzie from Cali? Yeah. Yeah. But I don't want to hear anyone else imitating Mozzie. No, no, no. If I'm going to listen to something right. that sounds like Mozzie, it's going to be Mozzie because he does it well. Yeah, and what's crazy is Mozzie's been big for a minute. I didn't really ever know much about Mozzie until I heard him on Sue Sir. Him and Sue Sir did that, started doing that stuff yeah. together. And then I looked him up and I was like, well, he, he's huge. I just, it was an artist that I think I saw, but I just never really listened to him. Yeah. But he's dope for sure. Yeah. His yeah his... I'm the same way, man. I don't. I'd have to look, but I, off the top of my head, I couldn't name any. That's what's crazy, bro. If you really break down, just think about the pool of talent, just from the Nashville surrounding area, just from Tennessee in general, rap wise. Let's leave Memphis out for a minute. Just the Nashville area. Just look at all the artists, the talent in that, and it's not just because we're from here. People outside of here are, are, are say the same thing. It's pretty insane, like how the amount, the level of talent and the amount of talented artists from here. I mean, I I could sit here and name them for hours. Yeah, you know what I mean. And, and people flock to here yeah. to try to get on. Yeah. yeah, I try to tell people too. I'm like, yo, like do what you feel like you need to do, but bro, it's it's gonna be way harder than you think. It's like it's like an actor trying to drive all the way out to Cali yeah. and just thinking it's gonna happen overnight. Yeah. I'm like, Nashville is ruthless, bro. Yeah. It's small, but it's fucking ruthless. Yeah. Like, yeah, and the the only thing about Nashville I wish we would do better at is is collaborate more. Yeah, you know, because like if you look at Atlanta, look at all the artists in Atlanta that are all them dudes work together. All them dudes collab with each other. Mm. That's the only thing I wish that Tennessee would do more of. Um, Memphis is kind of the same way like they have their like their sides really you've got I guess Yo Gotti's you got North and South and you got you got yeah. you got money back like they don't mess with each other yeah. they've got their own, or they mess with each other but then you've got Dolph is what I meant yeah. so it's kind of like and then Nashville well see Nashville mainly now though is mainly the, the more of the country or yeah I mean it's or, yeah. Yeah. but I mean I in, like a lot of people that I've tried to work with in Nashville or just tried to be a part of what they're doing and just genuinely support it. Yeah. I don't want nothing from it. I just yeah. like to hear that you're doing well. Yeah. It just turns into like this like competition amongst yeah. the people involved. And I'm like, dude, I don't I don't need anything from you, bro. I was just trying to be a fan yeah. and, and yeah. Yeah, you need help or if there's anything I can do to see you progress, let me know. And then it like turns into this like I don't know, just weird vibes, dude. So yeah. like even back back in the day, like when I first got into like when I first started getting my name known around Nashville and shit years and years ago, 
And this it was before it was when Jelly and Rolla and Lily and Worm and all of them were still super tight in a circle, you know, all yeah. of them still recording their Rollas and shit. Yeah, yeah. People were like begging me to get a part of that circle and I'm like, I don't want to do that. I love all them artists individually, whatever, but yeah. I was like, I do not want to get involved in a large group of people because it always just ended bad for me you know yeah, what I'm saying like yeah. I'm like dude I try to be genuine and it just always ends up and then now in hindsight you see what happened to that group of people like yeah. you know a lot of it went south for a lot of people man and yeah. you know the ones that kept stuck to it are like fucking they get they're getting everything they deserve right now dude right. you know like dude yeah. I'm so proud of what Jelly's representing for like Tennessee and shit dude like yeah He's massive. Yeah, like dude. he's, dude, yeah. he's like, yeah. who'd have thought? Like, uh, people coming from where he came from, people that relate to it, like me, like coming from the fucking, the fucking side of the gutter, and seeing mm -hmm. him doing what he's doing. That's just just motivational outside of music. It's just like, dude, you can really be what you want to be out here. No, for sure. Like, he's he's. Man, it's 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 <coughs> amazing to see how far he's come along. The past ten years, yeah. uh, twelve years, whatever you want to say, I say fifteen because fifteen years is about when he started doing like Gamble on a White Boy Two was like oh six oh five, and that's really when he started to. He was freestyling and shit back then, but that's when he started to like release music, you know, constantly. Yeah. I so, feel like every fucking two months, dude's got an album out. Dude, it's yeah. like... Well, and see, now it's He's like, just going crazy. He's already got a rap album finished with T. Stoner, pretty nice. much. But he's just waiting to release it. And That'd be he, interesting to hear him go back to like... I've heard I've heard a lot of it. and it's. I mean, he's still singing a lot of the hooks, but it's it's really good shit, bro. They, him and Stoner let me hear a lot of it um, when he was recording the album that just came out. He already had the skeleton of their rap album done. So, and he was random. He randomly sent me a freestyle that he did to a wee wee track. He had a hair up his ass one night and him and D Ray went to the studio and just recorded it. And this was like the week before he dropped a week before he dropped the, the rock album. He went and recorded and it sounded like he had been, it sounded like 2012 jelly. He was just, I mean, he was just, he hadn't yeah. missed a beat with that either. And he's got another, like rock album that he's working on so he's just consistently he's doing what he was doing before now he's just on the platform that he's always tried to get on yeah you know so he's kind of but he yeah. saved my ass in Ohio one night did I ever tell you about that on camera you didn't but I think you may have you can tell him on camera uh, I mean I, I just didn't remember if I told you I think you told me with the about. cops and shit <laughs> Yeah, well, I came out of a club drunk and talking shit to the police like I had any kind of sense. Just, just ridiculous, yeah. ridiculous legacy, bro. It's just ignorant stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know where I was. I was just walking down the street of Ohio. Like I don't know, dude. I, I got some just sh one. skeletons in my closet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I don't know. I was talking mad shit to the police, and they were about to bang me up in an alleyway somewhere, probably. Just here comes Guardian Angel Jelly. He's like, hey, you know, gotta fuck alone. He's with me. I'm like, I ain't fucking with you. I'm going this way. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> so they let me go because they were there for the show. I guess they were the security or whatever. Yeah. So they knew who he was. So off his clout, off his clout tokens, I got to. You got to cash Yeah, I got to get on up out of there. <laughs> And then I, we went to DJ Highlight's house that night, and I, like, fell asleep playing Call of Duty Zombies or some shit yeah. in the basement. That's just crazy, I had no business just being in public. Was it, like, 13, 2012, 2013, something like that? That's a long that? fucking time ago, dude. That seems about, like, the time he was doing the stuff with, with Highlight. Yeah. Because that was around the time of, like, Big South Story and Biggest Loser. And you get you an interview with Doobie, bro. That'd be major. Yeah, I've never I've never spoken to Doobie. Do you, yeah. got, do you know Do you know Doobie? I don't know him like that. No, I maybe I met about. him a few times. I I'm pretty sure I met. I know I met like Moose and them yeah. through DJ Highlight. Yeah, but I don't know. I don't remember if Doobie was around or not. But that's where I found his music from was through Highlight. Yeah, yeah. I have to talk to Jelly. I'm sure Jelly could probably plug me in with that. Uh, that'd be that'd be dope. 
He sobered up. So, be a good look for you. <laughs> you know, yeah, the cat is just staring the whole thing. Something. What are you looking at oh, out there, child? Oh. <laughs> Day in the life. <laughs> Put a GoPro around his neck. Be fun. I'd blow up videos on YouTube, dude. I'd make, I do that blow up. Dude, you could, you could start a channel just for your cat, dude. And it, your cats, you would make. Dude, that would just add to y'all's. Come here. Cloud folio, dude. Come here, show your legs on camera. You, uh, you just them off. Well, it's like, I'm not going to go over there. Are you crazy? Fucking with you, bro. Hey. Chad talks to animals, like they're humans. Yeah, I do the same shit. Yeah. Like, hey, what do you want today? <laughs> what the hell? I got to talk. Ask them. They ask them all the time if they got if they got a job yet, and then they'll never answer. Me. I'm pretty sure the other one we got can clearly say mama. Like I'm 100 percent sure yeah. that's what it's saying. It'll walk through the house from the stairs to in here looking for Ember, and it's like mama. Mama, it's like loud as fuck. I'm like, shut the fuck up, dude. I'll be like in the middle of recording a song or something, and, and I can't hear him. But in the playback, you hear, Mama. I'm like, bro. That lives on there for you. The perfect take. Thanks. I gotta go back and redo everything. You ain't gonna show your stubby legs on camera. Take four. Look, I ain't listening to you. <laughs> He's sunbathing. Yeah, it trips people out, dude. When I tell them I got a musking cat, they're like, what? Yeah, it, it, it definitely looks like it's a soldier, like, crawling yeah. when it walks. There's just, like, a older lady. She just was randomly walking through my back patch of grass out here one day. And Snoop was on a leash. And she, like, pops up out of nowhere. And she's like, is that your cat? And I'm like, yeah, what the fuck, you know? What is she doing? Walking back on her? She's looking for something. I don't know. She's like, is that your cat? And I'm like, yeah. And like, he runs over to me because he's terrified. <coughs> and she, she tells me she's looking for something. I think she was looking for a cat or something. And I picked him up and she was like, oh my God, his little legs. Like, I thought I sent her into like a seizure or something, dude. Because like, she... <laughs> drooled when she said it like and I was just like whoa like, yeah this is this is weird this, this, is, this is getting out of control this is yeah. yeah like I got got this cat on a leash you're drooling at the mouth I, I need to get in the back door immediately <laughs> 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 so oh you gonna come on with it come here come on you got him a new buddy dude <coughs> Show the legs. Walk. You gonna do that? No. Come I gotta on. see it. Come on. <laughs> Don't be sitting on it. Come on. Come on. Show that. Show them things. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> it even stretched. Dude, I tried like hell to get him in a Yellow Wolf commercial. They were doing a. They needed a cat for like a whiskey commercial he was doing back in the day. Yeah. And I'm like, bro, look, I ain't got like no crazy ass. Uh, what's some what's some big ass cats called? Uh, Himalayan or something. No, uh, like the tigers. Uh, what's it called, bro? Siamese. They got like huge fucking ears. Oh. Uh, Long lemurs? hair. Lemurs. No, it ain't no oh. lemur. Hell, I don't know. Damn, what's it called, bro? Anyway, I was like, I ain't got no crazy ass looking cat, but I got this cat with some little legs, but he got big heart, bro. <laughs> like, if, if Yellow Wolf needed a cat for his whiskey, bro, this is the one you need, bro. Like, they didn't accept him, though. They don't accept what they don't understand, you know? They don't. Saying? And this cat's, this cat's great. This is the first, <laughs> this is a Chad Arms TV exclusive. I think this is the first cat we've had on camera. But this uh, is a great one to start with. His name's Snoop Cat. Snoop Cat. He's available for birthday parties. <laughs> Cameos. Cameos. <laughs> uh, we can't breed him no more, but he is one cute little Mac Daddy. So He is. He's weirded out by the camera, I think. We're going to get the camera off of him. You got cat anxiety. Yeah. 
about to smoke him a joint later. He probably sees those legs because it's a bug or something. It ain't gonna bother you. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. This has been a standard been a podcast episode right here. Oh, yeah. He's gonna start on that one. You alright? <laughs> Jesse Flip. <laughs> You want to let us hear some music? Yeah, I can. Uh, yeah. Then to preview some new stuff from Legacy right here. But this is like a... Uh, I don't know. I feel very little peep vibes off this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm trying to do like a little shit like that. I don't know. It ain't... Um, it ain't too, too much. I still got a lot of tweaking to do, but... Dope. Mama sold stones, daddy sold dreams. I was on my own, moving solo on the scheme. Cop a second, blow a cloud, problems on freeze. Little life is wild, I can't ride without the peace. All these black clouds on me. Yeah, like, I like that. Yeah, that's just fire. Like a lot of fire in there. And then, uh, do, 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 do. where was? You use Adobe Audition, dog. Oh, yeah. I got the latest and greatest version. You know what I'm saying? We pay for subscriptions now. We don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't steal shit no more. Yeah, man. That's what I use. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's dope. Uh, and then tapping into like that same energy. Something I've been working on. I was working on this the other day as well. Let's see, let's see. So this is produced by Telly Beats. I don't know if you've heard of him or not. We've had, no, actually, we've wrapped one of his. Yeah. It's that uh, Man of My Word shit yeah. that we did a long time ago. Yeah. He produced that. Um, Super fire producer out of Germany, dude. He's so cool. So, this is more on that same vibe, Southern. Stuck in this mind control, time is slow. Trying to find the road to guide my tired soul. Stuck in between progress and procrastination. Bad relations had me passing up my aspirations. Struggle with depression. Daily I've been waging wars, raising swords with outrageous force, trying to slay the source. Confirmation of my complications, back and forth I'm oscillating with these confrontations. Haunted by my darker days, harbor breaks, fallen brothers laying in this yard of graves. Fight the urge to write the words of my suicide, pray these clouds move aside, unified with blue skies. I've been lost in my head. <laughs> That's just dope too, though. Yeah. Um, that uh, one we're working on with BB Swing, uh, I'll just play a little bit of it. Okay. So, I feel like dude's like majorly slept on, bro. He's yeah, he's dope, dope bro. <laughs> he's a good songwriter, too. Yeah. Yeah. He's had his hands on a lot of things. Yeah. Pretty sure he played this. He produced this. He's yeah. not played the guitar for him. Yeah. Grab my money out the Chevy. Bitch, hold my money, we gon' give it to him heavy. Today and I was running circles in my city. Cocaine cowboys trying to break the levy. Without a care in the world, you could get it. Man, I'll admit it if I said it, then I did it. But now I stare at my girl and I bitch it. Is he gonna pay me back? When's the devil gone? I know hate. Been through this 
face, it's tatted on my brain. On my brain, it's tatted on my brain. It's got a, like a good whining sound. I know how I'm living, they made for progression. I'm always stressing, I'm always stressing. Lost in the whiskey, kick off a direction. I fought with depression, I fought with depression. Lately been distant and showing myself is this really a pessimist. A pessimist when my presence is pressing and all of that pressure is. I'm tender to terrible tendencies At least what I tend to see Since a team I tend to rebound Survive all the misery Survive all the misery. Black in emotion Heart trapped in this frozen My past so explosive so explosive Daddy went ghost I ain't mad but I know It's part of the reason That I'm so hopeless Been friends with pain And addiction I know it's fire Been through this struggle I gotta go in and Cut them like echoes down And get them Substantially lower And Sounding good and yeah. Um, I, I think I almost like sent this to you to see if you wanted to get on it. Really? I'm pretty sure I had you in mind, and then like, cause like, I, I it's done, but I, it's missing something. So if you like it when you hear it, I'd be more than happy to take a verse off. Okay. Yeah. So, cause me and you always work well together. Oh, for sure, man. I love this song. Me and you done. <laughs> They left me for dead and I climbed up their trench I'm deep in this shit, like flies in the stitch Stand at the peak with a smile like the Grinch In traffic with two, ride with the rich Meet the commander, but speak up with manners That man and man slander don't meet with my standards We can sell business to prosper and grow Planting my seeds, my crops in a row Constant evolving with all we involved in Been balling like spawning, I follow my calling That's manifestation, goddamn I've been patient While planning in phases, can't stand in the basement Rise to occasion, supply inspiration I try to understand it, I doubt in my station Got all I could ask for, hitting the gas More miles on the dashboard, knocking down doors like the task force Yeah, yeah that's just no two, dog I'ma skip the hook on it Give me your envy that's good for my fire. They hoping and praying I lose and retire. My motors are moved, I'm maneuvering higher. Got shooters for hire, that Ruger or ruthless on fire. Get hit over bases, they watching my paper, they counting my pages. Dope in the digi, I'm gold in the city. You roll with me, broke, and you going up with me. So act like you got some sense. Bread and me compliment like kind of miss. I show you with confidence. Rock in your city, get sloppy, top behind the tents. I'm on a winning spree, marathon running, I've never been winded, G. Everyone acting like Kennedy, first chance they get, do me like Kennedy, 100% of me, labels ain't pimping me, kids that depend on me, grinding like Tennessee, shout out to Tennessee, raise me with Tennessee, go out and grind on my head in that guillotine, you gotta be kidding me, enemies talking about killing me, won't harm an inch of the skin on me, wasting the energy, so many drums I could put on the sympathy. Oh yeah, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's just fuego, dude. That's yes, hard. So, I got on that. You want on it? Yeah, I got on it. Definitely, we'll take that third off and move some things around for you, boo. Yeah, man, we'll make that happen for sure. Well, fuck it. That's all y'all get. Snake Peaks are over. Boom. Hey, we gave we a good. Go. We gave a few of them though. Yeah. So, <laughs> something to look forward to, man. It ain't. I don't think none of those would be on the growth album that I'm doing. <laughs> that I talked about last time. Yeah. Because I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep those with the same vibe that you heard on the Greatness track. Like, yeah. Super live instrumentation, yeah. elevator music soundy. Yeah. So. Which makes sense because the album's called Grown, so that makes sense. Yeah. I'm sure. I definitely wanted to, I wanted to <laughs> sound successful. <coughs> I want people to listen to it and think that I made it, even though I'm poor. So, <laughs> you know, fake it till you make it. When in doubt, do the Forgiato snout. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Get your clout tokens. Clout tokens, man. Upload them to the clout. <laughs>
Y'all be sure to follow Legacy, man. Subscribe to the Legacy's YouTube channel. If y'all need any, um, y'all want to collab or anything, hit him up. Yes, sir. If you're in Denver, Colorado, or any other surrounding areas, and you're a dope artist, hit me up. I'm moving out there the first of the year, and I would love to work with some people out there. Um, take me on tours of your grow farms and stuff, because I like weed. Yeah, there you go. Um, <laughs> I just want to take a picture in front of me, in front of a bunch of plants for the clout. Yeah. Um, yeah, so clout gang. Boom. Well.